Factorization, part three, the final chapter. Now, greatest common factor is the biggest number that is a factor of two or more numbers. So it's the biggest number that goes and divides into another number. And a lot of students confuse factors with multiples. But again, factors, just remember, it's something that you divide into. Multiples are something you multiply by. So factors are sort of like fractions, multiply, uh, and division. And multiples are sort of like multiply. So that's one way of keeping it, it, it straight. So if we look here, and we have what's the greatest common factor between these two numbers? What's the biggest number that goes into both these two numbers? Now probably you're instantaneously going to say, well, 30 and 40. Well, check it out. 10 is the biggest number that goes into both of them. That makes logical sense, but, but one of the ways of figuring this out is by listing all of the factors. So for 30, the factors are 1. You can't forget 1. You need to make sure to do that. 1, 2, 3, 15, and let's see here. And then we got 10. So really, I should go back there for a second. I like to list them in the correct order, 10. And one way to do that is just to make sure they match up. Two, you're less likely to forget them then. Two and five, and then 30 and one. So now for 40, same sort of thing. One, two, three, no, it's not a factor. Uh, is four, yes it is. Is five, yes it is. 6, no, 7, no, 8, no, and so on. So what we then do is, well, 5 times, actually 8, yes. 5 times 8 is 40. 4 times 10, 2 times 20. And the last one is going to be 40 over here. So we look and we see which the, the greatest common kind of factor of these are the, the number that appears most is going to uh, the biggest number that is a factor of each of them, and that's going to be the one right here, which is going to be 10. So that's the biggest number that occurs in both. Yes, one is a common factor, two is a common factor, but the biggest number is 10 that goes into both. So one more example here: five and 12. Well, what are the what is what are all the factors of five? Well, the factors of five that we know of are going to be 5, well, 1 and 5. Factors of 12 are going to be, uh, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, if you look there, it might seem strange to think about it this way, but yes, they do not have any common factors. So if that's the case, then if you don't have any common factors, then what happens is that then you go ahead and you say, well, the greatest common factor between these two numbers is going to be just 1. Now the next ones here, 60, 12, and 72. One way of doing this also is to break it down into factor trees. So this one here, 12, 5, remember circled 5 there, 4, and 3, and 2, and 2. So. Now we've got 12. And you might just be able to come up straight away with what it is, but I will keep you in suspense to figure this out. 3, 2. So if you can think to yourself, what number divides into each of these numbers? If there's a number greater than 1. And you should know right off the bat that there's a number greater than 1 because all of them are even. So certainly 2 should go in there. So 8, 9, 3 times 3 is 9, 
2 times 4 So 60 is going to be equal to, if we write it out, 2 times 2 times uh, times 3 times 5. 12 is going to be equal to 2 times 2 times 3. And 72 going to be equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Again, just make sure I get these right because this one's a little bit more complex. Times 3 times 3. So then what you need to do is another way of looking at this is yes, you could list all the multiples of these. Uh, or all the factors. See, I even screwed that up myself. All the factors of these. And so um, if we were to do that, it would be, uh, let's hear, 1, uh, 2, 3, uh, then we got 4, 5, uh, let's see here, then moving on 6, and then we got 10, and all the, and all the factors. That, that's, that's a little bit more cumbersome, I think, than doing it this way when you have more than one. Uh, so we have in each of these numbers, we have 1, 2. So 1, 2 in each of these numbers. We have another 2. So we have a 3. And then we don't have anything else here because that's 12. So we can't go ahead and knock out any other numbers and say, well, it's in all of them. So this is going to be 2 times 2 times 3, and that's going to be equal to 12. And if you think back and think to yourself, does that make sense? 12 goes into this. Yes, that's 6 times 12. 12 goes into this. 12 goes into this. So the biggest number that goes in all of them is going to be 12. So that is going to be the greatest common factor, which is sometimes referred to as the G. C, F, greatest common factor. So that's it.